Hey, Laverne, why did the chicken cross the road? To the get to the other side, of course. <laughs> Hey guys, it's time for these guys to get out. Hey guys, so everything's out. There's a little garden tour. Corn, corn is in the corn bed. And I actually have, uh, after about five days from planting it, I actually have some corn coming up. So I'm pretty excited about that. I also have weeds, which that figures, right? Onions, onions are doing great. They're doing awesome. All four barrels are full of onion stuff. I love it. All right, so I've got these beds um, done. I've got tomatoes in these two beds here, this one and this one. Last year and the year before, I had peppers. So this year I decided to rotate and put in tomatoes. So tomatoes, I got a basil here. I've got nasturtiums. I've got mums on the corner. Of all of those and then these are um, more mums and peppers more mums nasturtiums mums I don't know I've, I get so many mums they're everywhere but um, I think these were the Roma tomatoes here these were the pink brandy wines and then on the ends I put the cherry the cherry tomatoes because they bush out pretty good so if they go over the edge that's okay or and I'll also be able to you know put something up there so all right so and then in this bed I put peppers so I got peppers in this one and a zucchini and a nasturtium over here in this new bed that I just built more peppers two zucchini on the ends so that they can go over if they need to gave them a little space put my peppers in um, nasturtium uh, carrots all kinds of carrots in the sky here okay over here I have peas bush beans and in between each of my peas I have uh, corn so I've got one two three four I guess of where the forks are if you can see them and more peas. I've got four of the peas in the back and then I put the bush beans in the front. Cucumbers. I need to plant that. That's borage. I need to get some of that borage put out and then in behind it is um, I think those are um, sunflowers. I believe I don't know I had it in this pan with all kinds of seeds and that's what came up and I believe it was in the sunflower section so I have a little section in the front where I put that my CBD plants doing great this one's a little bent up and I'm not really sure why but it'll be fine and that one's doing awesome awesome for Christmas my son and uh, his future wife gave us um, these little clay balls that that have seeds all packed in them I don't know if you can see those popping out but as you water it breaks open and then they um, they have seeds in them and this one I can't remember if this was they, they gave me a bee and a butterfly bomb they're called and there was like four or five or six in each so I had this flower thing, so I figured I'd put a couple in there, and I can't remember which ones I put. 
if I did one of each or we'll find out when they come up hopefully I'll figure it out potatoes doing awesome potatoes all coming up all green I've got to fill in with some dirt because really that one's just getting way too big it needs to be have those two back ones those are the first ones that I did so those would be ones that need it first but anyway those are doing good these some more bee bomb uh bee bombs yeah bee and butterfly bombs there and in there and they're starting to break open you can see the little green here and then there's one here oh that's full look at them it just busted right open and then I think I put three in this one and I think there's one there so I, can't, I don't remember which one I put bee or butterfly but did the same here you can see them coming right out of there see all the green that one you can see it coming out right on the edge here and that one's got it so those are looking good and then this is my um, my ladder that I've got stuff on so I've got oregano lemon balm dill parsley and more borage that's doing awesome I may have to do something else with that I can't remember how tall that gets I need to do something else but anyway there's that and that came out pretty cool my greenhouse is sadly it's empty but that's okay that's all right. I may start some more seeds of flowers or something and put them in there. But anyway, guys, let me move my tripod here. Look at that. The garden has got green in it. Everything is coming up. The garlic way in the back there is doing awesome. Um, nice and green. I do have some yellow tops on them. And that could be because it's been so dry and I've been trying to water them and keep them watered, but... Maybe I'm overwatering them. We did finally get some rain. Um, we got about an inch and a half over a day and a half, which isn't a ton, but it's better than nothing. We needed it. We haven't had rain in a long time. So pretty much everything's planted that I grew, all except for that borage. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. And those... Um, sunflowers, which I do know what I'm going to do it, and I'll show you what I did with my other tall flowers that are going to grow out here. I have more nasturtiums hanging on the uh, door here, the entrance to the garden. And then right next to it, I have fenced off because the chickens would not leave it alone if I left it, is hollyhocks on each end. In the middle, I have lemon queen sunflowers. I also have some gladiolas that are the bulbs that I'm going to put in. I should have put those in a while ago. And I didn't. forgot I had them, but I do have some. So, anyway, we're going to put those in there. And I think I have some seeds that I collected from my flowers from last year I may just throw in there. I did that last year, and they didn't do so well. Um, but I think the chipmunks and the chickens got in there. Hopefully they won't this year. We'll see how that goes but anyway that's the garden guys my flower boxes are going insanely crazy they look so pretty full of pansies it's the other one on the shed that one's doing super good too so nice so we went from having uh, 50 degree weather for about a week too. I'm um, hoping you guys can see that. Almost 90. Right there. It's just below 90 degrees. Fahrenheit. Whew. It's warm in the sun. Whew. So I'm in the shade. Uh, I just got done doing a little bit of weed whacking. It's getting pretty hot, so I may cool down just a little bit, come back out. I may wait till a little bit later when it cools down outside. Um, there are some nice big clouds in the sky, so every time it covers the sun, I try to do a little bit. The sun 
Sometimes it can be just too much, especially almost at 90 degrees and you're used to 50, 60 degrees. But anyway, uh, I wanted to um, do some shout outs today. One of them is for uh, Crazy Ed's homestead. He still needs some hours to get monetized. Um, if you go over to his channel, if you haven't subscribed, check his channel out, subscribe. Um, if you are a subscriber, maybe you could go over and run a playlist for a few hours. Give him a few hours of watch time. He could use it for sure. And then a new channel. Um, I've been subscribed for a little while now, but uh, one that's growing and should definitely be growing is Fallen Arkansas Veterans. Um, he's obviously in Arkansas. He's doing some good work for the veterans. And he's got some great videos out there of the Memorial Day celebration that they had. Um, and uh, he's doing some wonderful things over on his channel. So if you go over and check him out, watch some of his videos, subscribe, leave him a nice comment, and let's help each other grow a little bit. Also, can't forget two old people on a couch. Good friends of ours, so glad we met them on YouTube. They need some watch time hours as well. So if you can go over and give them some watch time hours. They tell you everything that's nuts balls. It's crazy stuff. So that's it for today for shout outs. I have been so busy. I haven't really had time to get on and check and see who else needs what. I've been trying, but it's just a busy time of year been trying to get my garden in and after the rain and everything it has just um, everything has just exploded as far as greenery as you can see behind me the leaves are definitely out the grass is growing the weeds are growing and uh, we're trying to cut some trees for firewood because believe it or not firewood is kind of hard to come by right now um, we usually get the tree length firewood and we cut it ourselves and then uh, split it and uh, let it dry and then we stack it in our woodshed. This year there aren't many people doing that because wood prices are so high that they are cutting more of the pine than they are the hardwoods. So we are waiting on a load. Hopefully we get a load but in the meantime we're not going to wait. We have, Scott has, I shouldn't say we, Scott has dropped some good nice sized trees and uh, letting those dry out a little bit with the leaves on. And then we're going to trim them up and cut them, get them split so that they will dry over the summer. And we have a few more around our uh, solar panels to allow the sun to come up and get to the panels earlier in the morning so we can start a charge earlier. Um, it's not so much of a problem in the winter time but in the summer, as the sun's coming up, it takes it a little while to come up over the ridge. And we've got some pretty tall trees blocking some of it. So uh, in between that and working, we uh, have been pretty busy. <laughs> so thanks a lot, guys, for coming and checking out my garden and my shout outs and uh, listening to me ramble on. Very much appreciate you guys, uh, the new subscribers, and of course, all you uh, OGs that have been with us for a while um, and since the beginning, we very much appreciate it. Um, that's it. That's all I got to say today. Been busy, hot, hard to think <laughs> on a normal day. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thanks for coming along. We'll talk to you later.